Okay, so for time purposes, I already primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I used NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and went over my eye a light coat, but then I focused more on the inner and outer of the eye, and using NYX Jumbo Pencil in yellow, I'm just going to dab this right in the center, and it's going to help pick up that yellow color that we're going to apply. You make sure you rub it in really good. Don't do go too thick because it will crease and the shadow will not go on right. Okay, so now we have that. Next, we are going to do our brow bone color. And for this, I am going to use nylon. And just go right under the brow. Focusing on the high point. And then blending out. Like so. Next, take a pencil brush. Or actually, um, a fluffy brush. And I am going to use, if I can locate it, my 222 just a flat brush and I'm going in with passionate by Mac it's a very deep purple color and I'm gonna get it all in there and I'm just gonna go in the crease from the outer to inner corner make sure you blend but this look is a lot of blending so just keep doing this until you get the consistency that you want and to make sure that it's blended perfectly okay Okay, once we have that, you want to go in with the deep purple color, and I am going to use number 92 by Makeup Forever. And for this look, I am going to take my pencil brush and dab on the inner. Really patting that color in there. Checking the tear duct and the outer. Right on top of that white. Like so. And then you want to just take it and then lightly connect it. To the other side add more color as you need because next we're going to blend 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 okay so we made a bridge and taking that same 222 brush wipe it off go in with some of that purple tap off the excess and in circular motions just buff that color in, leaving that center part with the yellow open. And then add more color as you need for intensity. And just really make sure you blend this out because you do not want to see any harsh lines. And you also do not want to cover up that pink color that's peeking out.
like so. Next, I'm going to go in with my 223 brush, which is a more pointier brush. Going back in with Passionate, and I just want to darken up, intensify that pink. You see how narrow that brush is? I want something pointy like so. So freshening up that pink color. And then wiping it off and going in with that purple and then intensifying that purple. Because you lost some of the color intensity once we blended it. So we're just going back over it just to intensify it. Like so, go back in with that passionate. And then just go back over. And this is also helping to blend out that harsh line. And I'm just checking to make sure it matches on both sides. Now I'm going to take that highlight brush that I used. And I don't know what number this is, guys. But I'm just going to go back over that highlight, which also helps blend in that color. Next, I'm going to take my 213 brush by MAC, if I can locate it. And going in with MAC's Chrome Yellow, really packing it on that brush and dabbing it in the center, like so. And you want to pat it on for maximum color payoff and to minimize fall out. So just get that padded on in there really good. Like so. And then take that 223 brush again, going in with your purple, and you just want to blend blend around that yellow. like so. Next I am going to take my pencil brush wiping it off and going in with my Antique Green Pigment by MAC. And we're going to go along the bottom lash line. Not going all the way into that inner corner. Like so. And we're going to go in back with um, number 92, Makeup Forever. And we are just going to bring this color down like so. And then go back in with that antique green. Like so. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do off camera is line my upper waterline with a liquid liner. And I'm going to use a Technicol in black in my waterline just because I don't want it to run. And mascara. So I will come back to you with pictures.